Today we're creating a cocktail that brings Jameson, peach schnapps, sour mix, and Sprite to the table. Literally. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. I got my G.I. Joe shirt on this week. Today, we're making the green tea shot. It's going to just be so, it's, it's like, you can meditate to this stuff. It's green tea. You're going to feel zen. Without, it's like zen, but without any tea in it. This, produced by a new Patreon subscriber. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to try to do this right. It's Vesa. I got that. And then I'm going to go with uh, uh, Vlidkalia. Vli, v, ye, no, sorry. Ye, Yikaya. Yeah, I am sorry. Vesa. Vesa, thank you! And this recipe was submitted by Angela V. Or no, Angel V. Same thing. It's equal parts Jameson, uh, peach schnapps, and sour mix. Oh, there's a splash of Sprite in here. I totally forgot about that. That was why we needed this Sprite bottle that I had. Um, and that's it. And that changes our proportions, but nothing's going to change necessarily. It said one third, one third, one third. Yeah, but you still need to splash this Sprite. Oh, yeah. My bad. It's chilly now. So it's, the recipe at the end of the video is going to say one third, one third, one third. It's equal parts. So the splash throws everything off, but just splash harder if you're doing one, one, one. That's it. You're going to shake. You're going to strain. That dilution is going to increase the volume of your drink. People at bars are going to be pissed off because they're like, "Ah, oh, you're adding ice to, little, to make it weaker, so I'm, I'm getting less for my money. Fuck that. That's not it at all. The fact is, cocktails taste better with a, with a little bit of water added to them. If you don't understand that, then you don't deserve to get water. Oh, no, Just my give it straight. Mezcal tastes good out of the bottle. Mezcal does taste good. You got a little splash of water, but you'd be very impressed. I'm so, very impressed with that out of the bottle. <laughs> I can't win this conversation. <laughs> I'm going to do, what are we doing? We're doing three quarters an ounce? Three quarters, three quarters. Splash. I'm going to pour myself a three quarter ounce shot right here. Three quarters. So I'm going to do three quarter, three quarter, three quarter. It's equal parts. So you guys don't think too hard about this. If you get something that measure in, it could be a shot glass. Question of the day. Anybody? Nobody has a question. The fuck is he saying? Um, question of the day. <clears throat> what do you measure with? Did we ask something about that? We said do you like jiggers? No, or something like that, didn't we? Uh, okay, how many of you guys measure with shot glasses as, as your standard ounce of measure? That's not a good question. I'll get a better one. Jennifer, work on that. She's chatting with the live stream. We typically live stream on Friday nights, usually 6.30. Not always the case. This week is a little bit different. It's a Memorial Day weekend. It's been a little hectic today. Um, so we're doing what we can do. Oh, shit. You did not see that on the camera. Jennifer will cut that to make sure she didn't see that I spilled a little bit right there. I don't cut that. We don't cut here on the oh, show. More people in Austin. We're going to have a party in Austin. We're going to have a party in Austin. Party time, excellent. Um, the next thing we're going to add to this is a little bit of ice. I'm going to use clear ice because I have some sitting around. Plus, I have two less, two more ice cubes sitting here. So I'm going to shake for 10 seconds, and then see what we create. Green tea. I'm going to add the splash later, by the way. Also, don't forget, on the 10th of June, we're going to have the Rustins folks here. Like I said, you've got a recipe that needs to be done that has rum. Now's the time to submit it. Make sure the subject for recipe at everydaydrinkers.com email has uh, the words Rumsons in it so we know that this was a recipe that you heard from when I talked about the Rumsons stuff. Uh, the other thing, on the 17th, you will have, uh, we'll have a little bit of a beer flight test tasting with uh, Justin Hurd from, Justin Hurd, if you if you don't know who he is, which I wouldn't imagine you would necessarily know who he is, uh, Justin has done the Troll Spank LLC, our actual company logo, which you'll see at the end of the video every time. The recipe, whenever you see the recipe, look down in the corner. It's like a little 35 um, millimeter camera logo. He's done a couple of other prototype logos for us. I that too much. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Tasty. Um, so he'll be here. Messy. It's shots. You gotta be messy. 
uh, he'll be here to film some flights of beer. Plus, we'll do some cocktails with him. It'll get crazy. It'll be a good time. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how many flights of beer to, like, what, what, what the schedule will look like so we can actually still not be completely sloppy drunk. Um, and the other thing you could do, if you want to, you could check out Home Cocktail Menu if you want to support the show along with Jennifer's efforts to create her own ebook, downloadable format, to be able to uh, create cocktails for parties, um, any reason necessarily, parties, events, whatever, or just because you want to support us and you want to create some of the cocktails that we've created and designed off show. I'm sure some of them will eventually crop up here, especially as we promote more, uh, but you can go there and check out what we have. There'll also be a free download coming. There should be two. One's going to be a partnered, uh, partnered book that we're working with uh, Cardinal Spirits on, and then the second, which we haven't, I mean, completely early on, and the second will be the Common Man Cocktail Hosts show. So, ready? One, two, three. So the host cocktail book, 10 hosts, 15 plus cocktails. It's going to be a good time. Maybe we should do a show just to promote those, that book, and have like the different hosts on to talk about their cocktail. That was pretty good. Easy drink. Simple. Mostly peach, though. I don't really it, get green tea out of that. I don't get... There's no green tea. It has a green tea look to it, but... It, there's, yeah. there's zero green tea it, flavor. Yeah. It tastes like peach. Peach. <laughs> there's a little bit of a lightness. Like the Sprite to it really yeah, helps it, with the start of the drink. You don't get any alcohol at all. Um, you get really like a sickly I'm sweet peach. Jameson went away. There's no bit Jameson, yeah. Jameson is not a simple... That's Ian's like go-to yeah. Irish... Like Ian's big on Jameson. And... I've always looked at Jameson as being, it's kind of to me like what I used to think of wild turkey, like rot gut, like, oh, I don't know if I want to drink this. It's not that bad, but it is strong. Like, wild turkey? We had a lot of Jameson. Strong. Jameson. Pretty strong. No, remember in, uh, when we went to Tails that time? No. I don't remember Tails. <laughs> the no. first time we went to Tails and we did that. Oh, we did this flight. Yeah, the, all the yeah, Jameson product that they ever had. Jameson. Yeah, that was, that was pretty interesting. Um, that... I mean, you get to see that, you know, what people typically think of Jameson is like your go-to medium shelf level Irish whiskey. Uh, but they have a lot of different brand and flavors yeah. throughout there. And a lot of, I don't, not experimental. Like I know Buffalo Trace has an experimental edition, but more of a, like, if you make a spirit that just kicks ass and like makes a lot of money, sometimes if you're good, a craft distiller is going gonna, is gonna to get creative and start creating new things. And they've created a lot of different kind of spin-off of the Jameson. They have the like the casks, whatever the the black what is it, the black cask or whatever it is that has a beer that was rested in stout casks. The cask something cask cask mates, right? They have cask mates and a couple other ones. Jameson though, that stock Jameson, this bottle, that is pretty. It usually hits you pretty good. That doesn't have any Jameson taste. No, not at all. Uh, so it's the peach, the peach overpowers the peach, everything. Peach snobs makes everything easy to drink. That's why the '80s was really bad. That's why like, we're redoing that. that right, right. Sense. So one of the cocktail books that Jennifer's going to be working on for home cocktail menu, and you get, I'd love to know your feedback immediately, just on reaction alone. Is we want to be build 15 recipes that re redo the '80s. Like let's pretend that didn't happen. And let's take 80s cocktails or like cocktails that fit the lemonade. 80s. Yeah, electric lemonade. Oh, did I say that right? Electric lemonade. Electric lemonade. And other drinks in that in that caliber and redesign them to be craft cocktails. No longer just throw a bunch of crap together and, and think about it, but actually build them out. Um, so that'll be a, a, a book that'll be coming in the future as well. Just something to think about. But Jameson is hidden. Yeah. No taste at all. Uh, you really, it's it's a peach forward flavor. You can do with that what you want. It's not bad. It's pretty easy if you want to, you know, if you needed something to kind of get the night going. Simple shot. It's the type of shot that's not going to hurt you. Uh, it's got what? Uh, let's say a half ounce, if that, of each ingredient. And Jameson's the strongest of them. Peach Thompson isn't going to be that intense. Um, it, but the thing is, if you're a man, if you're like us, we guys here, me and... The, the, the Ian's not here. Jameson is kind of the manly thing. Like, oh, yeah, I got my Jameson. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty manly. Peach schnapps, not so manly. But <laughs> if you can make a shot out of them and have people drink them, I don't think men or women are going to be too thrown off from the drink, and you're not going to get too wrecked really early. But it's a good way to start the night.
Pretty tasty. Unless you don't like peach. That's not too peachy. That's true. There are people peach. who are like, screw peachy. I don't like peach. You think if it's you that peachy? If you like peach, you wouldn't like this. I love peaches. No, I like I like peach. I but like peach. if you didn't like peach, you wouldn't like this. No. Yeah, if you... It, 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 listen, if this product makes you just cringe and disgust, obviously this drink isn't for you. Just saying. Remember today to subscribe to the our Alamo? YouTube channel. Huh? The Alamo? No, don't remember the You can remember the Alamo if you want to. But it's more important that you click the little subscribe button that's appearing right now. Click on it and subscribe. One of the things that I have heard is coming in YouTube. And you've seen this if, you've, if you uh, follow College Humor. But one of the cool things that's going to happen soon, I think, is that the end card at the end where my recipe is, there's going to be some cool clickies that you'll be able to do someday. And I won't have to build specific video pieces for the end. It's going to be pretty cool, so I'm pretty excited for that. So if you see that sometime soon, that means I'm awesome enough to get into the beta from YouTube and allowed to do that. So I'm hoping that happens. It'll save me so much editing time. That's it. Thank you for watching Sunday Night Shooters. We're teaching you. Do we have a question of the day? We didn't ask no, a, a question of the day. What is your favorite tree breed? Oak trees, red oak. We have, what is that thing? Red ape, red maple, uh, pine tree, if you're weird. What is trees have too many Juniper? Acorns. You, you, acorns is your problem? <laughs> maple trees are. I don't like the ones that sprinkle down a little, like the little pine needles everywhere and kill my grass. Yeah, that those are pine trees, so those. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite tree? One I, thing to I think. I like birch. We live in New Hampshire. Birch tree. tree. Yeah. So we like birch trees here. So what is your favorite tree style catalog method Pear. breed? Apple. I guess you could Long. pick fruit trees if you really wanted to, but I was trying to get a little bit more creative in the flavor of a tree you're eating. It's not a uh, flavor. It's a flavor. Plum is a flavor. I don't Peach go, tree. I don't go eat the tree. I take the fruit off the tree. It's My guess is if I say with that betray them, but I like peach trees because I like the flavor of those peaches. Trying to, if you're trying to branch out. No. <laughs> that just that happened. Joke. That just happened unintentionally. We're done. We're teaching you how to drink. Have a good time. That's one ounce right there, bitches. Woohoo! And you can stack them up right on top of each other. Wouldn't it have been funny really? if I just completely...